Hello, Sagis. Let's do your reading. Let's see what's showing up for you that you're supposed to know for your highest good. So we're going to ask what energies are coming towards you, what you're going to be dealing with, facing, and how to best handle it for your highest good. And of course, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whether you're currently in touch with them or not. Most of you are not in contact. Some of you in sporadic communication which means a lot of misunderstandings so no matter what sign or gender your soulmate is we're going to ask what's happening in their life what they facing dealing with that you are allowed to see for your highest good and of course we're going to ask how your soulmate is relating currently to you especially emotionally Universe, please step in your very clear and important messages for the sign of Sagittarius for Sagittarius highest good please Universe, what is coming towards Sagittarius? What will Sagittarius be dealing with? King of Wands. Wow, that's beautiful. Two of Pentacles. You're trying to make decisions, take action. You're trying to be responsible for your life. Uh, showing up here as king of wands this is very good energy you want to be responsible you want to take proper actions you're also concentrating on your finances you want to make wise financial decisions wow so sagis you are heartbroken three of swords in a traditional deck this energy is depicted with a heart being stabbed by three swords. You are heartbroken. You're missing your soulmate. And a lot of you are praying and hoping and wishing that you guys come together again in this union and be together again. Uh, you're very much hurting and missing this person. It's heartbreaking to you not to be in their life, not to be in contact with them. You're heartbroken. You're very heartbroken by this. You're trying to balance yourself and figure out how to proceed, what to do, when to do it, to fix this. This is very painful energy to show up in a reading, especially a love reading. Um, you're heartbroken. But you're not giving up. The star card showing up. Some of you may be dealing with um, Aquarius. This shows here problems with communication. So a lot of you are having silent treatment, not communicating with your soulmate. <sighs> Let me see. Clarification. Universe, what's going on with Sagis? What is Sagittarius dealing with, will be facing and dealing with? You see communication. Some of you are thinking of reaching out to your soulmate. So some of you will be brave enough to reach out to your soulmate and communicate with them. Eight of Pentacles here. You are thinking of taking action and reaching out and communicating. You have a lot of passion for this person. Love and passion. Uh, this also shows you want a new beginning with this person. This person makes you very happy. So something painful happened between the two of you uh, with this three of swords showing up here. Uh, there was a very painful breakup between the two of you, painful for both of you, heartbreaking for you and heartbreaking for them. The two of you love each other still. Ten of cups. Yeah, look at this. So you really want to see this work out. You really, really want this person back. And believe it or not, this person is hoping that something will happen, transpire, head in a better direction and work out. In a love reading, this is a very serious energy. Ace of Pentacles, especially supported by a star energy. That means... Um, you want long-term commitment with this person and the person uh, would want that with you also if they see you uh, with proper action, meaning uh, being uh, straightforward with them, uh, showing them that you really mean what you say and what you feel. 
you very much worried very worried you also feel a lot of sadness regret guilt about some of the things that transpired between the two of you in the past you worried excessively um yeah heartbreak another message of heartbreak indicated here you want to do the right thing some of you may be dealing with a libra you want to do the right thing yeah but you are scared so you have unfinished business with this person it's a soul contract some of you may be dealing with the leo wheel of fortune so you have unfinished soul contract with this person so the universe will give you another chance uh, to resolve this between each other. But remember, ultimately, what, ha what happens with your relationship, not just this one, but any of your relationships in your life, whether it's romantic or not, will depend on your actions and other person's actions. It's not up to the universe what happens with your relationships. It's up to you and how you work with each other, how you communicate. So you're dealing with somebody who is very resourceful, grounded, no matter what sign or gender they are. Uh, this person showing up here as a king, though, very masculine energy. <coughs> Excuse me. This person right now is concentrating on their job, their business, their financial resources. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm going to drink water. Okay, that's better. And for their energy to show up on top of star card shows that first and foremost, they realize this is a soulmate connection they have with you from other lifetimes. This person is very spiritual, very psychic. So you're dealing with somebody who is very advanced in psychic arts, reads energy very well. Um, this represents um, Taurus... Uh, Virgo Capricorn also water signs showed up air signs earth signs fire signs all signs across the board showed up in here but the strongest ones are showing up here are Aquarius and Libra um, <clears throat> let's go and see what's going on with them um, that you are allowed to see for your highest good and how they are currently relating to you, especially emotionally. Universe, please step in. Show very clear and important messages for the sign of Sagittarius. For Sagittarius, highest good, please. Universe, the soulmate of Sagittarius, no matter what sign or gender they are, what is the soulmate of Sagittarius dealing with, facing? And how is the soulmate of Sagittarius currently relating to Sagittarius, especially emotionally? <clears throat> wow. Five of Swords. Ten of Coins. Seven of Swords. Eight of Coins. So this person recognizes that you guys have major communication issues. There's no communication. When the two of you do communicate, which is very rare and sporadic, neither one of you is talking about your feelings towards each other. You are hiding that information from each other. You are not discussing how you feel about each other, what you would like to, to see happen in the future with each other. So you avoiding you both are avoiding that communication. Uh, your person is very good with business. Uh, some of them are business owners. Some of them are very diligent workers working for some important company. This person is concentrating on their business, their financial planning, their stability, their health, their well-being. They don't want to fight. They don't want to argue. They're tired of fighting and arguing and disagreeing and not communicating effectively. They don't want to do that. They want to concentrate on the positive well-being. This also shows another important message here that 
if you show them that you are interested and want to put work into this, this person would be willing to fight for this relationship. Yeah, they've been waiting on your communication. They've been waiting to hear from you. They are confused where this is heading, if it's really even going to happen. It's like they're losing hope. They're confused. They don't know if they should reach out or not. One day they think they should. Next day they say, no, I'm going to wait for them. So they are confused. This person has high standards. So you're dealing with somebody who has very high standards. Uh, this person is... Uh, a type of person that believes in monogamous relationship. This person doesn't run around and sleep around. This person is serious. Taurus energy. Some of you dealing with a Taurus. This person has been waiting to see what you do. If you extend the olive branch. If you communicate. How you communicate. This also shows very strongly they are concentrating on their finances this person is very good when it comes to finances business their job their skills uh financial planning they're very diligent workers i like that energy this person does love you yeah this person does love you some of you are dealing with cancerian pisces and scorpio also cancerian and pisces over here they have a lot of passion for you, so they love you and have passion for you. I'm hoping you will reach out one day to resolve this. They would like a new beginning. Pisces energy again. Um, this person is very stressed out. Um, The world card, Leo and Taurus again. They working a lot. They working too much. They are workaholics. If they don't stop this, they're going to be so unbalanced. It's going to affect their health in a negative way. They they excessively working to occupy their mind, not to think about the heartbreak they're feeling. So this person needs to ease up a little bit. Uh yeah they're doing too much uh, with one part of their life and abandoning other parts which means they unbalanced so if they're going to continue with this they're going to get sick this is not good they need to find more balance they want to stop feeling this heartbreak they want to move beyond that toxic energy they are hoping to hear from you to resolve this, to have some kind of resolution between the two of you. <clears throat> That's what they're hoping for. <clears throat> hmm. Let's see. Let's see more. Um, let me see more before we go into extended. Let me see what you need, universe. What do you need Sagittarius to see before we go into extended reading? Five of Swords again. <clears throat> so the universe is showing you, you guys have major problems with communication, silent treatment. And when the two of you do communicate, which is rare, you are not honest with each other. Strength. Some of you are dealing with a Leo. No matter what sign you're dealing with, it shows here you are resisting communication. Or they may be resisting as well. Ace of Wands. Neither one of you is able to release each other. Uh, you guys have a soul contract. And it's hard for you to let go. Release this person. The only way you would be able to successfully release them. And they would be able to successfully release you. Is if the two of you meet together. Face to face. Talk honestly. Openly on both sides and then make peace with each other and then decide whether you want to be in each other's lives or not and as what uh, make sure that you walk away from each other uh, without holding any grudges towards each other because if you hold grudges <clears throat> and this negative energy towards each other which is very unresolved 
with this five of swords um it's going to affect your future relationships with other people in a negative way so it's good to make peace resolve things and then move on but most of you would want to be together again and work together on this yeah this shows here that this person would be willing to fight for this connection with you and start a new beginning uh, because they truly do care for you they are unable to release you um, let's go into the extended reading Sagis and we're gonna ask about your soulmate's current true long-term intentions plans for you anything they may be hiding from you whether it's on purpose or they can't communicate it right now but the universe feels you need to be aware of at this time for your highest good and <clears throat> on the bottom um, the last question advice for you from universe from spirit on how to best handle this situation at this time and anything else they want to uh show you for your highest good about your life here it shows a lot of you are dealing with pisces and also cancer cancerian uh, i'm sorry yeah i see pisces cancerian and also Aquarius, this is a star card, but I feel Pisces and Cancerian energy, very strong Cancerian energy and Pisces, heartbreak on both sides, so both of you are heartbroken, um, wow, uh, Sagis, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and i'll see you there thank you so much for your support sending you big hugs and i'll talk to you next time